Hey guys, it's me again, the Gun Nut. We are back today. Um, it's kind of nice, but yet muggy. It's not sunny, it's cloudy. We've got an overcast. We got rain coming in tomorrow, so that's why it's kind of cloudy around here. But got a nice little cool breeze going. Still a little bit of humid. Um, but anyways, we're going to be out here shooting some guns. We're going to be talking today about the Chris Vector, the Gen 2. I've got here today, thanks to Georgia Gun Store, Mike, Kelly, and Chris. Guys, thank you again very, very much for everything you guys do. And um, I've got the Flat Dark Earth one here. Normally, uh, you can get them with the little quick detachable pigtail thing. but um, Or you can get it like this with the stabilizing brace on it. That's the way I got mine. Mike had this one up in the store, and I was like, got to have this one. MSRP on this thing is probably around uh, 1500 MSRP for it. Um, believe it or not, this thing is available in five different models. 9mm, which is what I have here. The uh, 45 ACP, 10mm, 40 caliber, and 357. It's pretty awesome because uh, the bottom, it's got a four-pin disassembling design on it. The This whole bottom half will dis... You can take it apart and put whatever else you want to change calibers. You just buy the bottom section and you can swap it out. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do a, later on I'm going to do a disassembling video on this thing to show you how the insides work. Just a quick overview. Uh, the system on it, it's a Super V design system. The bolt doesn't go back. It actually comes back and down. So the recoil is traveled away from the shoulder. So you're a little bit more accurate and your follow-up shots are a lot more continuous and tighter group. So that's why the, like I said, the recoil is away from your shoulder and it just follows down. So the bolt actually goes back and down. So that's pretty neat. That's a pretty neat design. It also comes with a threaded barrel. The barrel on this thing is five and a half inches. The whole thing weighs, I'm going to say about six pounds, six and a half pounds. Um, Come fits any standard uh, Glock magazine, so you know Glock 17, 19. Um, that's what it comes with. 17 round magazine plus one at the top. It's pretty awesome. The trigger pull on this thing is like five and a half pounds. It's got flip up mag pull sights. There we go. They're adjustable as well, so you can do that with them. Um, ambidextrous. The safety on it, both sides. It's all feels pretty awesome. I mean, it's really comfortable. Um, I've been shooting it, had it for a little bit, and I've just been getting myself comfortable with it. It's pretty, the way everything's designed is all right here. So the, the mag release is right here on your left side. So when you're shooting it, everything's all right here with your left hand. I'm right-handed, so. But uh, everything's right here. Your bolt release, or your bolt catch, uh, your mag release, it's, it's pretty awesome. This whole thing is designed pretty badass if you ask me um, the stock is actually the brace it comes from the factory like this it's the SB tacticals uh, brace arms it's pretty awesome so uh, I don't know what else it's got a full rail on top a full Picatinny rail it's got a small one on the bottom so uh, it's pretty pretty awesome I like the fact that it's available in five different calibers so to me that's pretty cool uh, let me grab the camera real quick and get y'all a closer look to it. And voila. Thing is awesome. Get y'all a closer look. The Chris Vector Gen 2. This one's in the flat dark earth. As you can see. The brakes are pretty cool flip up sights and push them down and then just pull them up on the sides right them the little tabs ambidextrous safety pretty pretty awesome gun and so far it'll spit anything out I've tried different uh, brands of ammunition and not one hiccup yet so yay on that one where to go Chris USA you, I'm talking about you guys done it up on this one. Awesome, awesome pistol. 
and they also have uh, SBRs as well. Uh, you can well, convert you can convert this one to an SBR. I'm sorry, you can convert this to an SBR, but they also have rifles available like this. Uh, I'll put a description. I'll put a link in the description below, and um, that way you guys can check it out for them for yourself. You can go. I'll I'll post a direct link to this one. The descriptions and everything. Plus their website, so you guys can check it out yourself. Um, I've got a ETS Groups magazine, 30 round mag. Like I said, it's any standard Glock magazine. ETS makes them. You fit in there. Awesome. No issues. So uh, that's that's pretty awesome. So what do you say? We shoot a couple. Uh, we're at the range again. Safety. Eyes and ears. Y'all, please, please, safety, safety, safety. Always. Earlier, um, there's a couple clips that I'm going to put in here. I was shooting it earlier without the suppressor. Um, Mike, the owner of Georgia Gun Store, um, came down. He's here with me right now. He's in the back. <laughs> but uh, he said, hey, I got the suppressor. You want to put on it? I was like, awesome. I was like, oh, man, I ain't got subsonic rounds. I just got regular full metal jackets. He goes, I got you. I was like, oh. Now, do you see why I love Georgia Gun Store? These guys are awesome. I mean, like I said, you they never let you down. Never. Look at that. I mean, I just... I knew he was coming down here to shoot, and I told him, hey, look, I'm going to do some film, come down and shoot. Cool. I didn't know he was going to bring this. Suppressor. Silencer coat. Awesome. Looks beautiful on the Vector. Man. Now I got to get me one. See, this is, this is his uh, hook, line, and singer. This is what he does to me. So he knows what he's doing for me to spend more money. So, yeah. Got uh, subsonic rounds. We shot it last time with just regular full metal jacket, and it was pretty quiet. We didn't have no subsonic rounds, so now we do. We'll see how quiet it does. Here we go. Wow, that's super quiet. Let's see if we can do the 100 yards with this thing. 100 yards right there, iron sights. Awesome. Right, oh man. This thing is awesome. Woo! <laughs> My goodness, it's super quiet, guys. I cannot not tell you how quiet this thing is. I know I gotta get me one now. This is a gun nut, guys. Um, again, Georgia Gun Store. Mike, Kelly, Chris, you guys rock. I cannot talk enough about this gun and about the store. You guys, check it out. Let's head back to the table, clean up a little bit more about it. All right, guys, uh, we just got done shooting it. Chris right there, and like I said, earlier before, when you saw the gun, um, Mike wasn't here yet. I knew he was coming down. I was hoping maybe I'd get done with the review. He came down halfway through it, and he's like, hey. I had to stop for a second. He's like, hey, I got a suppressor. You want to try it? I was like, really? Sure. A while back when I had it, he brought the suppressor with him, and um, I didn't have no subsonic rounds. I just had full metal jackets, regular 150 grain, and it was, it was still quiet. But um, I was like, man, all I got is full metal jacket, just regular ammo. And he goes, oh, I got subsonic for you. I was like, oh. So again, Georgia Gun Store. Guys, I cannot tell you enough about this place. Mike, Kelly, Chris, y'all hit them up. I'm going to put a link to their website and a link to Chris USA website and the specs, more specs about this uh, pistol itself. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. And also, I'm going to put a link to HB Industries because HB Industries makes an attachment 
this looks foldable. This right here looks like it'll be a foldable stock, but it's not. HB Industries makes a foldable adapter. You can take this one off, put that one on, and it's foldable. So, um, again, guys, Mike, Kelly, Chris, thank you again very much. Georgia Gun Store, you guys are awesome. So, y'all pay them a visit, hit them up. Uh, guys, this is the gun nut. We just went over the Chris Vector Gen 2. Awesome, awesome rifle. Pistol, I'm sorry. Awesome pistol. It's not a rifle. Um, which I might just end up doing the SBR on this thing. Just because it's fun. So guys, this is a gun nut. Till next time, we'll see what we can shoot up. We just went over the Chris Vector. This gun nut, guys. I'm out.